Dear friends, welcome back at Beethoven 250 in 52 posts, my weekly vlog series on social media to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth this year. And celebrate we will today because this is episode 27, which means we're halfway the series. I started in January as a bit of an impulsive idea to make a weekly video about Beethoven. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. A lot of fun to welcome so many new subscribers, to read your comments, and um, if you're new to this, you have a lot to catch up to. We will drink to it with this very special beer, the Hoge Note, the High Need, which I will explain later to you. And if this will become a bit of a tipsy episode, I'm sorry for it in advance. As we know, after 26 episodes, Beethoven was a remarkable man. Not only musically, but also in his personal behavior. And drinking was one of his eccentric habits. It started in the morning with coffee. And Beethoven, as Anton Schindler, his biographer, says it, was religious about his coffee. He made it himself and used a French balloon coffee maker for it, or a siphon, it's called. And he would count out exactly 60 beans to make a cup of coffee. And for Beethoven, 60 means 60, because if it would have 59 or 61 beans, he wouldn't even drink the cup of coffee. Come fill, fill my good fellow, fill high, high my good fellow, and let's be merry and mellow, and let us have one bottle more. When warm the heart is flowing, and bright the fancy glowing, for oh, shame of the dawn would be going, but tear it for one bottle more. Come fill, fill my good fellow, fill high. But his true passion in drinking was alcohol. And Ludwig wasn't the only van Beethoven who had a passion for the bottle. His father had set the example already early in his life, Johann van Beethoven. Johann was a singer and a musician at the court of Bonn, and he married Maria Magdalena Keverich, with which he had seven children, of whom only three lived into adulthood. Now, Johann is usually pictured as a loser. He was very abusive and beat the young Ludwig many times or locked him in the cellar when he thought Ludwig played badly. And Johann was a strong alcoholic. An addiction that worsened after the death of Maria Magdalena, his wife and Beethoven's mother, in 1787. And it became so severe that only two years later, in 1789, being only about 50 years old, Johann was sent on retirement. From now on, by official ruling, he had to give half of his pension straight to Ludwig, who had become the head of the family. But also for Ludwig, the death of his mother became the start of a close relationship with the booze. As we've seen in episode 12 of this series, his alcohol consumption might very well have played an important role in the cause of his death. And even his very, very last words were about the delivery of a box of wine, which came pity, pity, too late. But what would Beethoven have thought of this beer? The Hoge Note, it's called, the High Note, or in a different translation, the High Need. Well, I am sure Beethoven would have highly appreciated it, because it's beer with a cause. By ordering and drinking it, you support musicians who have lost their income from the COVID-19 crisis. A wonderful idea, a wonderful initiative to support local musicians. It tastes great, and it even sounds good, because on the label, there's an indication of which note will sound after every sip of beer you drink. 
when you blow on the bottle. So cheers to that. Um, don't drink if you are legally not allowed to. Don't drink when you have to drive, of course. But do order the Hoge Note via the link below. I'm not paid to say this. This is just because I want to support my fellow musicians. Do subscribe as well to my social media channels to follow Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And be patient for the next episode next Sunday of this series. Cheers.